You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have, um, I guess I can call you a fan favorite, Jonah. <laughs> Jonah Wein. Ween. Ween. Why do I always do that? Sorry. From, from Crescent Credit Union, but you're not wearing the Crescent Credit Union hat per se. You're a real charitable guy. I know you do spin-a-thon for the YMCA. What we're talking about today is the Outrunning Homelessness School on Wheels event coming up. Correct. Tell us about it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll wear both hats today uh, because this is Crescent Credit Union's fifth or sixth year as the anchor sponsor okay. for um, School on Wheels Outrunning Homelessness. So this is the School on Wheels signature event of the, of the year. Um, last year, we're proud to have helped them raise fifty-seven thousand mm -hmm. uh, dollars, you know, for School on Wheels, and um, we had over five hundred people turn out to, to Borderland State Park last year. It's a tremendous event, a, a great family event um, for runners, walkers, uh, you know, bring your dog, family, kids, that whole thing. Uh, you know, we'll pray for great weather, and uh, it, it's just a, a fantastic event for. A, uh, an even better cause. So the event itself is on the 29th? It is on Saturday, April 29th. And it's, it's, is it early morning? Is it middle of the day? What, what's the, the registration time? Uh, you probably want to get there sometime between 8 and 9 o'clock in the morning. We, we kick off at 9. Okay. Yep. And Borderland State Park is not that far away from Brockton. It's one of my favorite places to go and, and just walk in general. Absolutely. Because it's kept up very well. It's a state facility. Mm -hmm. you got to pay a couple of bucks for parking. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Not, not okay. that day, though. That not day, that day they're going to let you in. Yep. Um, but 500 people. Now, uh, our Jay Miller usually is the one that goes to that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. And um, it's, it's from people in the whole area because School on Wheels kind of started small in Brockton and has expanded. I think their offices are now over in East Bridgewater. They were in Brockton. They were in Brockton. But Brewster bought that building and they yeah. moved. Actually, Cheryl Opper started School on Wheels out of her basement in Easton. Yeah, um, yeah. Before moving into Brockton. You're right. So it's, it's great that we, we actually hold this event at Borderland State Park in Easton where, where it really all started. Now, I'll give you kudos because Crescent Credit Union is the only credit union left that's Brockton based. Correct. correct. Absolutely. How come you guys decided to become an anchor sponsor? I know the bank supports a lot of charities, but this one just seems to be special. I, I was at one of your chamber after hours yeah. over in the branch on Belmont Street where Cheryl spoke. Yeah. Um, did it, I mean, Bob Gustafson, who runs the bank and the board of directors. I mean, it just seems like there's a special place in their heart for this group. Um, there really is, uh, and it actually, we'll give kudos to Rosemary Corcoran, who was uh, Bob Gustafson's executive assistant for many, many years. Um, School on Wheels was very near and dear to her heart, and um, when she she told me about it several years back, and coincidentally, I went to um, a chamber event where I saw Cheryl Opper speak, and it, it just you know, you, you hear Cheryl speak, and it really touches you. I went back to work the next morning and uh, and told Rosemary, you know, I saw Cheryl talking about School on Wheels, and, and she just started gushing, and, and the tears started flowing. And uh, we talked to Mr. Gustafson and the board and said, you know what, this is something we really need to get involved with. Now, the whole bank gets involved. You, you, a lot of the people that are over there, you get a team. We do get a team. Um, we, we get a lot of people turn out. Um, for the the race, uh, most of us walk it. A few of us run it, but um, we, you know we we bring the kids, we bring the dogs, and uh, we just make a, a really nice Saturday morning out of it. Now we'll put their address and phone number up to sign up. But you yourself are probably looking for sponsors and help, correct? Um, we. Uh, we, we are always looking for people to participate, uh, companies to contribute to um, School on Wheels and, and, and doing whatever we can for the cause. So basically, they should go to their website or their phone number and sign up to either walk Absolutely. or... Is, is it both a walk and a run? It's a walk and a run. Uh, it's a 5K run and I want to say it's uh, just under three-mile walk. Mm -hmm. So... Um, how many times have you participated in this? It's, I've been doing it for as long as Crescent has been the sponsor, so it's five or six years. Wow, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And uh, w now, tell us from your point of view, as 
not just a member of the bank or the marketing manager or whatever, what do you personally get out of this yourself? <laughs> um, it's a really good question. And, um, you know, I've been doing bank marketing for, for over 20 years. And often I ask myself, okay, how many ways are there to promote a checking account? How many toasters can I sell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, what makes it really worth it, uh, doing the job that I do, is when you can give back to the community. That's when it really brings meaning to my job, whether it's School on Wheels, the Boys and Girls Club of Brockton, Old Colony YMCA. You know, we don't just say, oh yeah, that's a worthy charity. When we take a look at, at an organization that's reached out to us for help, we personally visit, we take a tour, we meet with the staff, we meet with the, the people that are impacted by what they do, and then it really hits home, and, and, and you can feel really good about contributing to the cause. And now I'm assuming also probably at the bank there are brochures and information about this. Do you have real flyers and everything? For sure. Because you always put community yep. first. Absolutely. Um, you know, right, literally, you can't miss Crescent Credit Union. You're all over the city. You're, uh, if I'm not mistaken, do you still have a branch in the East Side Shaw's? Uh, no, we have an ATM there. ATM there, but, okay. Uh, but we do still have four branches in Brockton. And downtown, which is right across from the post office, yep. over on Oak Street. Yep. Uh, there's one on the south side of town. right Campello. over Campello, right over near the brand new CVS that's over there. Correct. And, and Belmont Street, our corporate headquarters on Belmont Street. Exactly, over over near my favorite part of the world, Back Bay Bagel and Restaurant yep. Row. Exactly. So there you go. So, Jonah, thank you for coming in and talking about it. Thank you for what you do for this as the marketing manager, but more so as, as a human being. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.